Good afternoon. Welcome. Welcome to Sunday and welcome to something that I think a lot of people in our area, Michael, are going to be really um, proud of and then and then happy to be able to come and see. Right? Yeah, Valley Spotlight on location this week at the new Sweeney Buick GMC. Right. A few years ago, back in 2017, we had that microburst that came through the Boardman area mm -hmm. and it completely wiped out the service department and a testament to this team that I'm super fortunate to work with so much. Uh, they did so much work just out of one building. And so now the fact that we have two again and this one's whoa, pretty, yeah, uh, pretty significant. And we're very, very proud of this team and way to go, guys. Thanks that, for letting us in first. <laughs> I remember that being a very emotional time. It was for really the hard. Sweeney family. And then they thought, you know, what do we do? And I think the, one of their first thoughts was, we'll just rebuild and we'll do better. And that's what they do, right? Yeah, it feels good in here, doesn't it? This is a giant place and uh, it's really, it sits back off the road a little bit off 224 across the street from the Chevy dealership. So it's easy to find and it's not open yet. This portion is not open yet, yeah, but they are open during construction at the regular part. They're still under construction here, but nonetheless, um, thanks for meandering your way around the um, Sweeney property this <laughs> I've morning. I've been to a lot of Sweeney dealerships <laughs> this morning, but I found it, it was pretty easy to the find. The new one, Mike, the After new all. one. <laughs> we have a good show today, don't we? I am so, I'm, an, I'm impressed with the work. Yeah. I can't, first of all, I'm excited to share people with at home the, the idea of you being an artist for real. Yeah, right. Well, wait you see the real artist. We're going to introduce you to a, a young man from Warren that really does great work, and he's caught on with the rapper community. <laughs> yes. And not our community. I'm talking about worldwide, too. It's really neat. And uh, salad season is upon us, and Mark Canzanetta makes some great dressings. I love a good salad. You know, that makes my stomach feel good and mm -hmm. keeps everything right where it should be. That's and right. he has got some ways to make salad dressings that even your kids will like. Even even Michael will like them. I love them. I love salads. Uh, we're going to do another uh, episode of Home Advantage with Kelly Warren. Yeah, and we're going to spend some time, of course, catching up with our friends from Steel Light. We know they're an international company with the coronavirus. Uh, as a talking point for so many, what exactly are they doing and how are they dealing with it? So we've got a lot going on on the show today. Yep, a, a cash car and a household hints and hacks as well. But first. But first, let's get started. This woman we were introduced to, Michael and I, many, many years ago. She has been in the beauty industry and she is one of those people that you just admire. And now she has moved on to a new chapter in her life, which means taking steps forward in ways that you've probably never imagined. Take a look at Micheline Thompson and her company called Mishmox. When somebody decided to invest in me, I never had this mentality, I'm going to learn on someone else's dime. And I've never liked it, actually. <laughs> I've always thought, you know what, if somebody trusts you enough to invest in you, then you learn what they want you to learn. And hopefully, as they contribute to your livelihood, you can contribute back to their business. Oftentimes, the thread that makes us who we are is delicate and fine, and precise to say the least. And for Micheline Thompson, the fiber that makes her strong runs deep, and her appreciation for strength was something that she witnessed firsthand as a young girl in Lebanon. In the early 80s, we had the U.S. Marines that joined the International European Forces that went to Lebanon at that time to provide um, stability. The, the, the area was in a very rough shape. In different areas, different suburbs, they had different um, military um, personnel, with some English, some Brits, some Spanish, some French, Italian, so on and so, so forth. My neighborhood had the U.S. Marines. So um, I was recruited to be a translator at that time and didn't know what was going to be evolved. It's just like you just don't know. I, I wanted to be helpful. They came to get me to translate. I translated and that went on onto a whole year of being in the field with them after school. Her inherent need to understand the world around her for the sake of her future was evident. She would learn English and she would learn about different cultures and she would learn how to focus on success within the beauty industry. At corporate, I did a lot, uh, anywhere from field sales to director of business development, managing distribution for Unilever. And this was where my last position. I spent all of that time in the beauty industry, totally focused, totally, um, you know, one career. One career until one day when her corporate position had just become too much. Micheline had to take a moment and looked at her surroundings and she let them speak to her. Years ago, Micheline and her husband Mark saw a traveling military boot exhibit dedicated to our armed forces. They had on a manicured lawn uh, just all these military boots. They were well shined with dog tags hanging out of them. And I, re I recall getting out of my car and walking through and literally just 
I was, it just I emotionally moved me. And that resonated with me and with my husband. Well, back then it was my boyfriend. So, <laughs> yes, he was a keeper. Flash forward to just a few years ago, and that same feeling that overwhelmed Micheline was the same feeling that pointed her in her next direction. Months of thinking, what am I, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? And then all of a sudden I'm at this red light. I looked at Mark who's driving and I said, hey, do you recall the traveling exhibit? He's like, yeah. I'm like, whatever happened? He's like, I bet you they're sitting in some warehouse accumulating dust. And I'm like, gosh, I hope they weren't get, they didn't get thrown out. The light is still red. And I looked at him and I said, I know what I'm doing next. I'm going to take old military boots and I'm going to refinish them into children's shoes. And I will have a tagline that will read from our soldiers' footsteps to our children's first steps. After a bit of research, it was clear that using those boots for this reason didn't make much sense. But a company dedicated to initial steps with a foundation based on research and development was inherently necessary. Mishmox was on its way, and Micheline designed a slipper that goes beyond simply being cute. When I worked with Dr. Sokol out of Akron Children's Hospital, and she spent over a quarter of a century early development, here's what she said to me. When you source products, make sure it's good products. And, and um, I'm looking at her, so well, what do you mean? And she's like, well, you know, keep in mind, kids chew everything. And I thought, she's right. Another thing too, she says, shoes should do this. Any child's shoes, even up to two years old, should do this. If they don't, you know, a child, when they walk, it's really important their feet to have direct contact with heart service. So when we're talking about Nikes, with all due respect to Nikes, or any hard soles, it's taking that sensory out. So therefore, often a child might have, you know, my, the balance, the coordination, all of that is, it gets a, you know. And then another thing too, so here's my, on touch to the scan anew. So our moccasins, they sit, they're high moccasins. They sit about quarter of an inch to one third of an inch than average shoe out there. And the reason being is to me, when this part is very busy with their little toes and, and soles of their feet, they're walking and doing whatever they wanna, or they think they can run and whatever, then this part here stays solid around their ankles. Now Mishmox is literally taking leaps as they make tiny first steps matter for the sake of the leaders of tomorrow and each design, each slipper is laced with Micheline's vision, passion and success. And if you're interested in a pair of Mishmox, just log online, look them up on Facebook, Mishmox.com. How about that, Mike? And you know, my Sabina wears slippers at Montessori school. Right. That's why they do it. So they, their little firm foundation is like they always know where they're going. Seems like a lot of businesses start that way. I'll make one pair. <laughs> oh, wait, I like those. Can you make those for me? Oh, I mean, you know, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, geez, I, now I got another business. She's just like that. making mishmocks for the rest of her life, and <laughs> I couldn't be prouder of her. She's a, she's a tremendous lady, so. All right, when we come back, we're going to do a little cleanse, right? A little juicing? Yes, this ginger, so some mint. Put it all in some water and you, you're super healthy. Yep, we're gonna go to Pesto's Test Kitchen after this. Life is full of decisions. What to feed our families, how to save money, and how to keep our families healthy. At Pristine Dental, the decision was easy. They make it simple for us to manage our dental care with membership plans that directly benefit us instead of the big insurance companies. The Pristine Dental membership plans offer up to a 30% discount on selected services. No hidden fees or fine print. Great dental care made easier. Visit pristinedentalpros.com to learn more. Your smile will say it all. And she would always say, honey, I, you snore so loud, I, I can't believe how loud you snore. And I'm like, what? And he claims I quit breathing. I've tried four different masks to make it work, and I just can't do it. I'll and I'll be honest with you, I did off. not know what REM sleep felt like, like before you. the appliance. I really right. did not. I did. I never had that deep of a sleep before. Bistro 1907 is a classic yet unique American bistro. This space lets us immerse ourselves in history. The dishes are inspired by our past but have a modern twist. Bistro 1907 by Mark Canzanetta is unlike any place else. Find out why. I'm Mark Canzanetta and I welcome you to Bistro 1907. Do, right, Mark? 
It is. It is. We don't work. We just have fun and cook food and and make great TV. Thanks We're to trying. you and you. Well, and thanks. everybody in the valley that helps us out with this little thing that we do here in the test kitchen. We've had so much fun over the past few years. We have. And we're always looking forward to a new season. And we are. Especially when it brings some color and some freshness and my gosh, Aren't you ready like, for the green to come back into I our am. valley? Sabina I mean, actually says that when she's driving. She says bring the green mm -hmm. back because she's I am ready for the spring colors, the smells, the smell in the air, the rain, all that stuff. Like it's new life. I agree. Spring is new life. So we're doing three great salads today. We're not going to make the, all the salads, but we're doing three great dressings. We're going to teach you how to make a cream-based dressing. We're going to teach you how to make a vinaigrette. And we're going to teach you how to make a low-fat dressing. And we're going to use xanthan gum. We're going to use vegetable stock to replace three-fourths of the olive oil. I have to say, all of your dress and dressing making over the years has like given me a new ability to look at my condiments and be like, hold on a minute. What are we gonna pull up? Exactly. And like, what are we gonna make different? Yeah. And like that's just one great piece of lettuce, like bed of lettuce, and then you can like change it as, yeah. as you go along. But yeah. Anyway, and we have some great lettuces. Like, Green City Growers up in Cleveland, Ohio, right. they've done a great job up there. You know, and our, our generous uh, vendor Hillcrest Foods gave us a great basket of beautiful salad greens because all of the greens come in living, and I really like that about the greens. They still because they're, they're grown on aquaponics, right. so they still have all the all the the stems and everything on them. You have to clean them just a little bit but it's just beautiful fresh crisp vibrant lettuce all right so start out with we're gonna do a uh, a bit of a cleanse that's a, yeah. a, a drink and i love this i think this yeah. is great because and you I, know I, what? I, it, it's a great way it. to get your day started you know it's an easy thing to do for you and the family you can change it up okay. right now we're gonna do a ginger citrus um detox okay we're coming off winter we're feeling maybe like Let's we should good. get healthy again. I'm that trying to get it. healthy again. So we're just gonna do some simple stuff here. We have some orange lemons and limes and some fresh mint and some fresh ginger. So we're gonna start off, we're gonna add some fresh mint and you can add whatever herb you like. Mint is especially good in these. We're gonna add some fresh ginger. We've cut up and sliced some ginger. Do we like you, you can squeeze so you, it a little bit, you not, don't have to. Really, okay. The one thing I do want to say is you don't want to leave this, the oranges in there for more than two days because right here inside of the orange or any citrus, this white that you see right here, that's called the pith. And the pith gets a little bit bitter after a while. So I don't think a gallon of water is going to last too long in your house. So this is a like great thing anyway. for the kids to build. You can do it with strawberries. We've been doing a lot here with pineapple water, you know, because those new waters that are out on the market hint and things like that. Well, she, uh, Sabina loves them, the water Oh, they are, but they're, they're a dollar good. a jar. No kidding. We're gonna build a gallon. They are for so what expensive. You would, you, a whole gallon for about a dollar versus paying a dollar for 16 ounces. Now we have to put it in a juice box and you've got to, like, you got to there we go. Well, you know, our kids actually have their own infusers that they I take to school it. with them. I love it. Yeah, put and as then, much or as little. Ginger is really a little bit bitey. So if you like, it can be a little bit hot, but I love ginger. I love it, too. especially if you're juicing and you need to do like beet and carrot and ginger together. That's all really, really fun. Really good for your liver. So let this sit for about four to six hours, put it in your refrigerator, bring it out, and you're ready to drink. And we're gonna drink that with our salads at the end. I love it, Mark. All right, keeping us healthy and uh, bringing us some, some fresh some, colors for spring. Spring is just such an amazing season. I'm looking so forward to it. We'll be right back. Mm. How about that water? I know. You've never had better water. No, I haven't. <laughs> and I drink a lot of water <laughs> yes, right now. Yes, you do. Now. Yes, you do. We'll have all of the salad dressings coming up soon. And Michael, true to form, you drank Guy's barbecue sauce well, once on television. Delicious. That's why. And you're going to drink some salad dressing? I'll take a giant spoonful. And you can log <laughs> onto our Facebook page and see it. It won't be on the show. But Ron made me do it. Right. And what am I going to do? Not eat salad dressing made by Mark no, Hansen at Edwin's Ranch? Got to do it. All right, when we come back, Lauren will say she walked around like a dinosaur stomping. I say a flamingo. Well, either way, you'll see what her and Kelly Warren have to offer after this. Every day I get up, and just like you, every minute matters. When you walk through life, every fight is one you want to win. So I step up. And right now, during daylight savings time, Ryers is knocking the daylights out of prices. Find knockout prices in every department. Step up and save on winning brands at Ryer Shoe Store, where every step matters. The time is now. Steel Valley Lifts knows you deserve the best car lift for our best price. Double your garage space with lifts starting at just $39.95. Steel Valley Lifts, we hold firm on American values. The strongest steel and the strongest workforce make the safest lifts. Call our skilled service team today and find out why our customers have been with us since 1988. Trust is built on strength. 
Visit SteelValleyLifts.com and trust us to lift you in the future. With taking the kids to soccer practice, piano lessons, and everything else, I'm lucky if I get to fit in a workout. But staying fit is important, not just your body, but your teeth as well. The professionals at Pristine Dental provide affordable dental care for your entire family. From routine cleanings to cosmetic dentistry, Pristine Dental has got you covered. Plus, they have transparent pricing and membership plans that directly benefit you, not the big insurance companies. Visit pristinedentalpros.com to learn more and book your free consultation today. Your smile will say it all. From the beginning, it's been like hard work, all me, trying to get this done, trying to get products out there, and coming up with different ideas. You know, each, every single product has a story behind it, and every story is because they were made to help somebody. Welcome to Home Advantage, and hey there, Cal. Hi, Laura. We're warming up. We are, getting nice and toasty. I was gonna say, the winter hasn't been so bad, and we're in this lovely home again, mm -hmm. that to the eye, very pleasing. Yes, Lots yes. of wonderful details that people are going to be paying attention to because they grab your attention. They do. But today, we are going to be talking about all of the details that maybe you don't see. Right. And obviously, people always ask questions about a fireplace. Right. B, how does it work? You know, is it gas? Is it log? But then there's a lot of other things that sort of come along with this specific thing, and then so many other things in the house. So how are you guys f able to manage it, and what should well, people be looking for? You know, the first time a buyer looks through a house, they're they're just looking at the house. Oh, Do I like nice the floor plan? Do the rooms work for me? Oh, this is cute. You know, mm -hmm. most buyers aren't really checking out the bones of the house on that first visit. But if they love it and they fall in love with it and they write an offer the first time, we can always do contingent upon a home inspection because they're going to find out lots of stuff. Um, so the things that, you know, you talked about the fireplace. Mm -hmm. in, in a lot of the older houses where you've got those brick fireplaces going up the outside of your house, a lot of times there's damage out there and water getting in and things like that that need to be looked at and considered. They mm -hmm. can be costly. Um, Often buyers will just walk right in the front door and then, okay, I'm inside. But yeah, and like I, I remember like we walk through a house and like you sort of like feel like how it's made or, you know, whether it's sturdy or whether, you know what I mean, yeah. like the floorboards. I'm a big floorboard. Like, what else are people looking at? Well, you know, when you walk through like this, you're not yes. looking up and around and, you know, so are there any roof leaks? Are there mm -hmm. any soft spots? How old is the roof? You know, mechanical systems, furnaces, electric, plumbing, how old are those? What kind of condition are they in? And just because it's clean and just because it's working right now doesn't mean right. there's a giant problem maybe behind it. Yeah, and even questions to ask that maybe you can't see right now, but has the house had a fire in it before or any water damage in the basement previously? Mm. Um, because that might be a little bit of history of whether that might happen again as far as water or something. Sometimes you don't want the answers to those questions. No, but when you rather you fall know? in love with something that like yes. feels like home. <laughs> yes. Oof, I would rather know. Yes, I'd rather know. So uh, for anybody else that would rather know, uh, give Kelly and her team a call. You guys are so easy to deal with and you are paying attention to the stuff that we're just sometimes not. That's our job. Yeah, I know. You do it very well. So congratulations. <laughs> Tell everybody how to get a hold of you guys. You can call or text 330-717-2689 or visit us online at kellysoldit.com. I bet you didn't know I was paying attention to the floorboards all the time. <laughs> oh, I didn't. Yeah, is I, that I, what that walk I do is? That. That's what I my dinosaur walk. Okay. <laughs> Figuring out the floorboards. <laughs> you don't want me as your real estate agent, I tell you that right now. to feel the floorboards. <laughs> did it feel did it feel like a well-made house? Yes, it did. <laughs> but you know the difference. No, I know. You know. Yeah. Some are creaky, some aren't, some just feel flimsy, <laughs> some don't. Right. I know, I understand. Seems All like this the stuff older ones are better. Paying attention to. I, right, my house is built in what 52. Yeah. yeah. It's a solid house. It's a good house. Yeah. Do you want to? Do you want to? I cannot wait for this moment. Oh, this is such a cool story. Because your son actually smiled when yeah. you told him about it, which there's I little, love even more. There's a little piece in here you have to see, and we'll we'll talk about it later. But uh, talk about different strokes for different folks. An artist has to put himself, his or herself, out there, right? It's bad enough and hard enough when you have to paint it for yourself, but then you have to see if other people like it. Well, a gentleman from Warren has done that, and then some. It took him a while to find his life's calling, but boy, has he found it. I'm, I'm really creating my own genre of art, all things considered. Like, nobody really puts words on their art like that. Everyone's afraid to. Fear is not something Jimmy Masachi worries about anymore. 
He's been out on his own since he moved to Las Vegas shortly after getting out of Warren Harding. I just felt like there was a lot going on there. I had visited it, you know, there one time and I was like, wow, this place is just electric. After a few years in Vegas, Jimmy headed to Florida where he was a consultant, bought and flipped real estate and just lived life. Yeah, I never had a, this is what I wanna be when I grow up moment. I just always was like, I'm just gonna experience as much as I really can. It wasn't until then that Masachi actually became an artist. So how it kind of went was I was doing art on the side in Florida, in my garage. I had a studio in my garage and I just did stuff for my own house. And then as people started to come to my house, they started to like say like, well, who did this? Like, you know, and then it was, they were mine. So people started saying, well, can I buy that? So I started selling it. Well, anyways, I got picked up by a gallery in Miami, maybe around 15 or so, 16. And then in 2017, I sold art to some musicians and then everything just started to, started to snowball. Turns out rappers liked his new edgy style. It's a style he created that's all his own. My art's predicated on simple images, but powerful message. I call a lot of stuff out. I deal with a lot of, I work in the hypocrisy, uh, the CD underbelly, the stuff sweep under, you know, people sweep under the rug. I deal in that genre. One of the first was Killer Mike, the rapper from Run the Jewels. Today, Mike's on the road with Bernie Sanders. Back then, he wanted Jimmy's art. We saw some of your artwork and the guys like your art. And I was like, really? Like they know about me? And he was like, yeah. Um, I said, well, let me know if they like any of the art. And then fast forward, let's see, maybe six month gap. I went to South Beach and um, both of the rappers from that group ended up owning a piece of my art that night. So it was pretty cool. Yeah, well, how'd that be? Uh, it was amazing. Cause it, number one, it was my favorite musical artist. And number two is like, I'm really selling like my, pro I'm selling my thoughts to this guy. Like it's crazy, you know? This particular piece is set for superstar Flo Rida. I want things to be just right because I don't want to give someone a piece of art or sell a piece of art to someone that's not correct. So I just had to brush a couple of strokes so I could say some of my work is in Flo Rida's home. Looks dope, looks dope, brother. This is all part of a series where Masachi takes old magazine covers and adds his own special flair. I think the bulk of those are from the 40s. I mean, they, they were like 10 cents. So as me or other people keep buying those up, eventually that's, they're not gonna be there anymore. So the magazine covers themselves are artwork and then combined with my wordplay, I just thought it was a really fun idea that people would, would um, you know, think was, was cool. So we have Jet Setter, Life is Grand, and never enough time. But you never know what Jimmy's going to paint next, and the beauty is, neither does he. So I found this painting in a thrift shop, and what I like to do for fun is I take old paintings that are irrelevant, and then I make them relevant. Throwing that paint as hard as you have to throw it to make it splatter like that, I'll, I'll never do it, I'll never make another one. <laughs> I'm a completely untrained artist, and I believe that that's why I'm so free flowing with everything. I don't stick to any confines of what art should be or not be. I just, I'm just inspired by everything, honestly. Inspired by life, his mother's strength, and of course, Warren, Ohio. And equally as important to me is my hometown. You know, this place is really struggling. It's like an epicenter of hypocrisy to me. So, I figured, well, if I could sell my art in other places, but spend my money in my hometown, at least I'm not just talking about it, I'm trying to do something myself. And he's doing it. Jimmy enjoys every day. He's never lost that zest for life, and that's the life he's built for himself. This is a lot more um, fulfilling in my life than anything I've ever done, so I'll never leave it. And now that people are, it's finally starting to click, and I'm, you know, I'm creating my own genre, so to speak, um, my sales are going up, my prices are going up. You know, more, I guess, A-list type people are contacting me for artwork. I'm just inspired by everything, honestly. And I'm very shocked at what's going on in my life. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, every day it's an adventure. When I wake up, I never know who's gonna call me. So keep an eye out for Jimmy. He's going to have a, actually an art show in Warren. I think he's going to invite a, maybe a Pittsburgh artist and a Cleveland artist, kind of bring them all together. And it should be really fun. His art is a little bit edgy. Not everybody's going to like that's it, okay. but the guy's got talent, that's for sure. With a name like Masucci, you Masachi. can't go Masachi. I'm yeah. sorry. That was close, but it was really cool. Yeah. And then my painting was Flo Rida and I are going to have 
Like this. Don't tell him. We'll, this will just be our secret. <laughs> we'll tweet it. That's right. Okay. All right, you ready to clean the fridge? Not well, the inside. Not the inside, which also needs to be cleaned, if I'm mm -hmm. going to be honest. But the outside, you know, those little fingers and, like, the dog licks it. Uh, it's two it's problems gross. with stainless steel fridges. You can't put a magnet on them nope. and put your kids' work on it, mm -mm. and they get all smudged up. Yes. Sarah's going to handle one of those problems. She's amazing. Oh, the household hints and hacks, they continue thanks to our friend Sarah. Oh, thank you, Lauren. It's always good to see you. Good to see you, too. Always better when she's making life easier for us moms and dads and really anybody out there. So thank you. You're welcome. Anyone that has a fridge or uh, anyone that exists knows that they get all messy and gross and just sometimes even uh, stainless steel they do get scratched um, if you have just a black frigidaire like I do at home um, it gets really messy uh, yes it does yeah and look pets even like put their nose prints down here which oh yeah is fine. and then little tiny hands with little tiny cheez -Its. and yeah. we want them to do it themselves but then uh, then we're left with you know well as moms you know sometimes we have to clean up after them yes we do all the time even yep. though they're, they have great intentions um, but all you need is a little bit of um, olive oil and a paper towel and Molly. And Molly's gonna help. She's like, I yes. put those crumbs up there a little bit sometimes. And it's not Molly made, it's Sarah's cleaning. Yeah. Uh, and we <laughs> want to polish this up. My goodness. See, we have a little, little like seat right here, thanks to Bean. Yeah. Ron's gonna carry the camera down for us. He didn't even know we were gonna do that. That is so simple. Simple. Oh my goodness. Easy. Takes what, about 30 seconds? That's it. And, and it's so shiny. You. Another part sometimes people forget are the door handles. Oh, because our kiddos open those doors too many times a day. But yeah, make sure you sanitize those. Ah, uh, I do it daily. Um, just a little bit of olive oil. Just a little bit of olive oil, but to sanitize the, um, the door handles, I do take a little bit of that vinegar that I always talk about. You can even take vodka because it does have alcohol in it to just. Um, yeah, take Wipe away it down and look at the, it's like a perfect chain. It's like a new microwave. Sarah, your hints and hacks, I tell you what. It's a new fridge, but yes, it is. <laughs> it's left and right. Yeah. Tell everybody at home how they can get a hold of you and your team. You guys are doing stuff like this all over the valley for all kinds of people. All over the That's, valley. I, we love that. Niles, so, Gerard, Poland, everywhere. Doesn't it's matter. 234 uh, Sarah's cleaning you on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, contact us any way you need to. They're everywhere and they work a lot to make sure that we don't we can work we work a little bit less. So yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Look at how clean. I know. Aren't you impressed? I like when you get your <laughs> get in there and do it yourself. Right. <laughs> He knows I'm not very good at it. Well, that's why that's we okay. ask for help. No, that's why. And that's why she does such a bang up job, right? She really does. And her team, too. So they have a lot of great people working for them. So please don't hesitate to reach out and ask yeah. for help if you need it. And this, I wonder if Sarah's having trouble finding cleaning supplies. You know how there's no more cleaning supplies anywhere. I know. I wonder. We'll have to ask her next time. We'll have to text her in a bit. Yeah. All right. When we come back, lighten up your diet with some fun salads. Yes, and some great dressings that will make any lettuce that much better, which is really what we want. Right. No hot water? Call A to Z Dependable Services. Our fully stocked rapid response water heater specialist will get you back in hot water in no time. A to Z is the only call you need to make. The Hope Center for Arts and Technology, located in Sharon, offers free job training as part of their Medical Assistant Diploma Program. No cost to qualified students. Log on to hopecat.org and click Apply Now. Test kitchen and my goodness. We're gonna make some dressings. Because the salad looks amazing. It's, it's waiting to be dressed. It really is, it's waiting to be dressed. You know what, I, when, I, when we do salads, whether it's at the Bistro, or we do them here, or any of the other restaurants we've been a part of, 
when you, when you go out to eat, you, so many often times you get dressing like glopped all over everything. Lettuce doesn't want that. Lettuce just wants to be lightly dressed. You know, it's a delicate thing. You don't want to overdress it. You don't want to wilt it, especially when we get to a mayo-based dressing lettuce over there. Tell you so, about lettuce. but we really want to have light dressings. It's supposed to accent the lettuce right. and bring out some flavor, not be a soup. Well, your vinaigrette, I have to say, people ask me all the time. They're like, "What does he put on there?" What are you putting on there? It's right here. We're making the Bistro Finally. House dressing right here. It's right here. So okay. this is a vinaigrette. So All we're right. going to emulsify it vinaigrette because oil and liquid don't like to go together so much. You know, no, like fire don't. and water. They just don't mix. Men so, and women. A lot of people do or don't know that mustard is an emulsifier. So we're going to use this mustard as an emulsifier. That's going to bring everything together and it's going to keep it together. So we're going to do that. We're going to add our beautiful apple cider vinegar. Okay. Some fresh parsley. Am I helping you just monitoring you? Yeah, sure, you? sure. Yeah. You, can put a, you can put that lemon juice. All right. I'll put a pinch of salt. Nice pinch of salt because you always want to season your, you put the scallions in. All of them? All of them this time. We're not making Rangoon this time, okay? <laughs> Dump. All right, so there we typically go. dressings are built, vinaigrettes are built one third of vinegar and two parts of olive oil. But I'm gonna sweeten this up a little bit. God, I love honey. Hey, we you have know, a bee guy. We have a bee guy. Bee Mike, guy. The, Mike the bee really guy. He's a good bee guy. Yeah, he, he really is. And so we have this great honey from him and it is just this goldenrod honey is amazing. We're gonna add a little bit of this goldenrod. To counteract, you know, we want that unami thing going on, sweet, salty, savory All kind of thing things. going on. So now it's your turn. Okay. Whisk away. This Slow, is steady stream. Right. You wanna whisk and just a slow, steady stream, just like that. There you go, you're doing great. Oh, look at that. We finally <laughs> got a good job for more kids. Sabina would, uh, Sabina would be okay, proud of me. Okay, you can me. drop the angle of that right. bowl now. You're good. fine. No, right. you gotta keep oh, stirring though. keep going, all right. I don't know. <laughs> That's I'm fine. I'm to mess it up. No, keep going. We have to add a little bit more oil. You can either do a figure eight, you can go in circles like you're doing right now. You just want to make sure you get it all together and it stays emulsified. Now, if you want to cheat, you can do this in a blender. It's going to break up the whole grain mustard a little bit, or you can do it in a food processor. I we're about like there. We you see how it's Lauren. starting to get some viscosity to it, some texture? I would, okay. um, I think Lauren Cam is necessary. Okay, right so let's give that a taste. Hey, my gosh. Mark, that was easy, amazing. wasn't it? Now, you can use extra virgin olive oil, and I like to use extra virgin olive oil. You can do some, oil, some oils that don't have as much flavor, canola, grapeseed, whatever your dietary needs are. Give that a little taste. Mm. That's really? fantastic. Okay. All right. All right, let's move Perfect. on. We're moving. Wait. That actually tastes like your restaurant. I would hope so. That's, that's what we do. This next one we're doing, Ooh, that's very, we're going to make a low-fat version of this, a low-calorie okay. version of this. We're going to substitute three-fourths of the oil for vegetable stock. Okay. We're going to thicken that with a product called xanthan gum. You can get this at grocery stores now, some retailers, and of course, you know our big box in the sky that delivers to everybody's house every day now. I know. Okay, so we're gonna add the vegetable stock. We're gonna add some red wine vinegar. Am I supposed to rinse this off? You can just throw it in the back sink. Okay, a little bit of garlic, because I love garlic in my Italian vinaigrettes, I really do. And you can add some salt. We're gonna add some overnight tomatoes to give it some flavor, depth of flavor from those tomatoes. And xanthan gum, is a commercial thickening agent. You can use it hot, you can use it cold. It's gonna stabilize things, it's gonna keep the emulsion going. It's gonna keep everything together. So you have to do, have to do it while it's moving? Then? Yes, so okay. one teaspoon can thicken one cup of liquid. Liquid. So we're gonna add about a half a teaspoon of this and you can whisk that together now. Okay, perfect. If you can bring my olive oil back oh, right over I, there. I moved it, I shouldn't <laughs> That's have. okay, Sorry, that's Mark. okay. And now we are gonna just use one, one quarter of the amount of olive oil in this. And you're gonna see after a few minutes that's gonna thicken together. Now you can do anything in this. You could put fresh parsley, fresh basil, fresh oregano, mint, whatever kind of flavor profile you oh like goodness, from herbs. Does that smell good? Doesn't that smell great? Wow. Did we put pepper in it yet? I don't think so. Okay, we're gonna put some pepper in it. I'll, I'll stir while you do the okay. pepper. And as many turns or as not turns as you like. Like when I write recipes, I put like five or six turns. That means you go around the loop five or six times. Okay? I like to go around the loop at least like 11 times. Uh, okay, 11 times is good. you know what, five or six you times You see how that's thickening up? <laughs> and that is all from the xanthan gum. A little bit goes a long way, and it looks like a thick vinaigrette. Yes, it does. It does. It's actually perfect. So we're gonna come back, we're gonna make the ranch dressing. This ranch dressing that we have at Bistro, everybody absolutely adores and loves. People say things that are like, they have the ability to like, 
the, you, they would drink. And this. it's easy. You should put it in a to-go it should container be and just like. So we are going to add. I'm going to move you some, down here, Mark, so that way some our guys heavy can duty mayonnaise. Keep track of you. Okay, we're going to add some heavy duty mayonnaise, and use your favorite brand. I, I would not uh, do the one that's more like salad dressing, which is my mom's favorite, but we're not going to mention that brand. Uh, some sour cream. You could use light sour cream if you want to. Uh, reduce your calories and you could use light mayonnaise if you wanted okay. to to reduce your calories. Buttermilk, got to have the buttermilk because it has that acid in it and it really brings out the flavors of everything. So I'm going to have you slowly start to whisk that together because if you go too crazy too fast, it's going to be everywhere and we don't want that. Nope. We are going to add a couple of different, we're going to add granulated onion. We're going to add granulated garlic. Some paprika. I feel like everybody around us is like watching me do this. They are watching they're, me do they're it. They're making my fresh make dill is the killer for this, and a me. little bit of sugar. Okay, and I used a little bit of sugar in the raw. I really like that. And we're gonna add a nice pinch of salt because you really want to season. Again, you want to season your dressings pretty well. Oh and at the end, we're gonna season that with a little bit of pepper. And now you can get a little bit more. Aggressive. More happy. You can All get right. a little bit more aggressive. Why don't you give me the pepper over there? Start adding some pepper. All right. Maybe you just want to, right? All yeah, right, is go. peppery or as non-peppery as you want. All right. And I think that looks great. I'm going to give it a little finger taste. Ranch dressing. Fantastic. Isn't that great? That will get any kid to eat any carrot, any well, piece of celery, anything. They will. Just I mean, the kids after there. school, they really like sliced cucumbers. They love sliced carrots, this celery. so good. You know, and that's a great everything. dip for them. And of course, for their chicken tenders. You know, and what we're Kids doing is here, when we're so making nice. our own dressings at home, we're controlling what goes inside of it. We're controlling the ingredients. We're controlling all. We don't have any of those things that they put in there. All the big companies put in there. Right. You know, when you read the ingredient list, when you read the ingredient list for this ranch dressing, it's what seven ingredients. It's pretty simple. Go yeah. look at his website, beast1907.com, for all of these recipes. Uh, please go make them and make your spring salads that much fresher. And we'll be back yeah. with our finished product in just a few minutes. Christopher Cross, the 40th Anniversary Tour, April 16th at the Robbins Theatre in Warren. Tickets available at robbinstheatre.com. As a real estate investor, I look for sharp agents who really know their market. Agents who do so much business, they can find me the right investment property and sell it for the most money without drama. When I need real estate advice in the Mahoning Valley, I call Kelly Warren. Her innovative marketing attracts hundreds of buyers every month, which creates more demand for your home, selling it faster and for more money. She guarantees to sell it on your timeline or she'll buy it. Call the agent I trust, Kelly Warren, and avoid the drama. Well, 72 years is a long time for anyone. Um, it used to be that you were old at 72, but not anymore. Um, you know, we're just coming into our, a new age of regrowth for Ducat, and we're very proud to have been uh, supporting the Valley and all of our customers for 72 years. It is, it's a true testament to our customers having the faith that they have had in us for 72 years. So let yourself go to do cut. Let yourself go to do cut. Of the Moody Blues is coming to Northeast Ohio. Justin Hayward. Nights. Two shows. April 23rd at the Robbins Theater in Moore. And April 25th at the Kent Stage in Kent. Justin Hayward featuring Mike Dawes. Tickets available at robinstheater.com and the kentstage.com and the box offices. Justin Hayward, Nights. Our customers are always part of the equation of everything we try to do. We don't have a Hillcrest label that we're trying to push on you. We don't have stockholders we're trying to make profit for. There's no out-of-state corporate office. The competitive advantage for Hillcrest over our national competition really is sustainable pricing, number one, the service and caring about what the customer needs, not our agenda. It's tough to get off course when that's your focus. Well, the, 
salad dressings, they all look amazing. Aren't they fantastic? I would put them all on one salad. How hard were those? Not really? hard at all. And, and if you don't want to whisk, you could take a mason jar and shake it up. You can whisk. You can whisk. If I can do it, anybody okay. can do it. So again, we have you know, Green City Growers, this beautiful, this is one of my favorites. We use the bib at the restaurant, but I wanted to use this here just to show this Cleveland crisp hybrid lettuce between romaine and iceberg, and it's just such a great crunch. So we're gonna build our best selling salad at Cobb Bistro, salad. which is the Cobb salad. All right. So we have our, our, our oven roasted beets. You can use pickled beets, whatever kind of beets you want to. So you can delicious. You could put this into sections if you want to, or you could just randomly do it. We're gonna have our cherry wood smoked turkey breast that we have at the restaurant. Oh, delightful. Oh, I'm um, gonna eat that one, don't. You eat it, I'm go ahead, that. go ahead. And then our famous bacon lardons. I mean, we use lardons, I've been using lardons for a long time in my career, but big chunks of smoky bacon in there wonderfully. I mean, this is like a full meal. I know people are saying- Our, our like salads are salad, like meals. They're like, entree size salads, is... they're plenty, they're plenty to share. Um, avocado, you know, avocados, you know, because of the onset of, you know, yuppies and everybody, the avocado toast. It has driven the price of avocados through the roof. They're about a dollar a piece now. You know what? So, they're but they're it, so they're so worth it. You know, it's like nature's own oil. I mean, they really the avocado oil. It's so healthy for you. It's a good way to start the day. It's like you know, butter, but not. Yeah, you're gonna start. Yeah, it's some sorry, hard boiled eggs as well. You said they were so expensive. I can't waste them. Ah, uh, that's okay. Great. Right. All right, we'll go back. Go back. Hard boiled eggs. Hard boiled eggs. And you can use hard boiled eggs, you can use pickled eggs, whatever kind of eggs you want to use, as many or as, as few as you like. We're going to have some white cheddar. I love the white cheddar to go along with this. And then some great tomatoes because great tomatoes are just fantastic. You know, we got the summer growing season coming too. up and I so look forward to it. Last year we had a little bit of rain in the valley, so this year I'm looking forward to it not being as rainy. Well, it's a beautiful rainy day today. I know, it is a beautiful rainy All day right. today. Okay, beautiful. Now we're just gonna make that gorgeous vinaigrette you made, and we're just gonna gently dress that. I don't hope I didn't dress your finger. That's okay. Perfect. Doesn't how, how good does that look, and how does that smell? Better than any nail polish I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I mean, this just looks fantastic. Oh my gosh, you guys, how about this? This yeah. is fantastic. So you have your salad there. I am just having, you know, when you just want something simple, a light little salad. You just have some beautiful greens. We have some red oak, some green oak here. We have that beautiful low calorie. Look at the viscosity though. You can't tell that that was made with vegetable stock instead of olive oil. Oh, okay. Three fourths vegetable stock. It's really beautiful. Yes. Yeah, so we got those beautiful overnight tomatoes in there, which is going to actually, you know, serve as some of the garnish for the the salad. But look at how beautiful that is. Absolutely fantastic. Now the ranch dressing again. Ranch dressing goes great on any salad. We're gonna have a bite of the salad. I, I can't wait to taste this detox water. I was gonna say, this is really, a, a, first of all, a beautiful conversation piece and it very, is. very healthy, so cheers to you. And it's very interactive with your family and the kids to build it because you can put apples, you could use watermelon, berries, isn't that great? Oh, it's really picking good. Picking up the ginger, you're that picking up the water. They yeah. don't have anything on you. Here's a hint. <laughs> and we're saving a lot of money. Nothing against right. hint water. I know they delivered no, to your do door. And we're actually do. advertising for them right now. Please send a free case, thank you. We love it. My wife loves it. <laughs> This so cheers to some great salads. And cheers to the spring season and uh, another great year with you. And right. Absolutely. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna this, I'm going this, for a piece of turkey. Avocado if you don't Go mind. for it. All right. Everybody, we look forward to another Test Kitchen episode. Cheers. Cheers. This is so good. You want, do you want to hear my thing about lettuce? I do. I, there's, the, there's the good kinds. I'm there's hoping. iceberg and romaine and spinach, I guess. And then there's the tickly kinds, the field greens or the mixed. I don't want that. So if you're ever making me a salad with those dressings, just regular lettuce is just fine for me. Notes to our viewers. There you go. Who and are the people probably who care preparing about us. a salad right now. Right. I don't want that prickly kind. That's just, just me. Just put more dressing on it. <laughs> and, just and that works it. too. Shall you just eat what's on your plate? Shut up <laughs> One and eat minute. It. Shut up and eat it. <laughs> Speaking right. of uh, putting things on plates, yeah. uh, our friends at Steel Light, you know, um, they do so much business all over the world. We're lucky to have them here in Youngstown, but the reality is, is that the coronavirus, that thing out there, well, it makes things moderately interesting. So John Miles and I, we caught up to figure out what it is that that company is doing and how they're dealing with this international landscape. That is something that's not so, not so great, but they're dealing. Good. Let's see it.
Welcome to Perfectly Plated, where we're not even talking about specific plates today with CEO and President John Miles. Hi, John. Hey, Lauren. How are you? I'm okay. It's nice to see you. Fantastic to see you as well. Well, you have been um, traveling with a bit of stress, which is the reason why we figured we'd address some of the things that so many people, you know, have concerns about when it comes to the coronavirus. You have an international company. I mean, you have people that are working all over. And this is something that we're like sort of watching pop up. And from your perspective, how does it change the game or does it for you? I guess is the question, right? I mean, I think that, um, you know, from, from a company perspective, you know, we're continuing to travel and, and, and work and do all the things right. normal. Um, obviously, you know, complying with any statutory requirements, meaning government rulings or what people were telling us we have to do in that we believe that they're looking out for our best interest and our safety of, right. of us and our employees and so you, you know we're certainly complying with any direction that we're getting from any government agencies but at this point you know we're all continuing to travel we're all out there um, you know we're actually off to one of the best starts in the history of our business I think, um, and I think that's a big that's a big statement because so many people are watching like the stock market and things are all over the place to, so to hear somebody say but this is the best start that they've like really un, like unheard of, right? Yeah, and I think that the other thing is, uh, you know, we have factories all over the world. Mm -hmm. um, you know, best known for our factory in Central England, but lots of factories in Asia and in Europe, and you know, even in Italy where. Uh, you know, there's some quarantine going on. You know, the factories are continuing to work. We're continuing to consistently ship. Glad we had three that. containers leave today. Um, and we see that in Asia too. You know, our factories are all 100% back up and running. The supply chain looks really good. And, you know, our service levels have, have, have remained really, really consistent. We're, we're glad to hear it. And we just want to make sure that everybody's staying, staying safe and, of course, staying aware as to what the situation is hour by hour and day by day and we know you guys take it seriously we're lucky to be here you know in downtown Youngstown with you and do you have um, a series of announcements coming up this year I would think right we do Big have things. <laughs> we do have a series of announcements coming up and uh, you know we'll uh, we'll be doing a number of acquisitions uh, we've just completed one in England uh, Friday of last week another one hopefully at the end of this week and a couple of other great things um, coming soon Will you let us know, right? I, I wouldn't call anyone else. That's good to hear. Right here on Valley Spotlight, we're glad to have you as a partner with our show and our community in big, big ways. So thank you, John. Thanks, Lauren. Really great to see you. And thank you to John for, you know, helping us understand something that, you know, nobody really wants to. It's an unpleasant to. subject, but sometimes it has to be discussed. That's the truth. All right, when we come back, we're taking a little ride. Yes, we are. And this time, we are so excited to be able to introduce uh, Bergen from Hun Hot Cookie and her mm -hmm. daughter. They've been on our show before, but now we're going to invite a few more people to take part in this cash car like you've never seen before. You'll see, be right back. Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC is teaming up with Valley Spotlight. Hey you guys, this is gonna be great. It sure is, we are bringing you the chance to win big in a Sweeney cash car. You could drive away with $250 cash or $1,000 towards your new Sweeney vehicle. So buckle up, answer our trivia questions, and win. Enter at valleyspotlight.com slash cash car for all the details. So come take a ride in the cash car at Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC. On Market Street in Boardman. Sweeney. Looking for the best doggone deals on shoes or just looking for an excuse to get a new pair? Visit the Rack Room at Ryer Shoe Store. Unbelievable savings on thousands of pairs located in beautiful downtown Sharon. Worth the drive every time. Fetch a new pair of shoes today. Welcome back to the new Buick GMC, Sweeney Buick GMC on this side of the street. Not right. quite open yet. 
few more a few more weeks and they were just putting some of the finishing touches on it and you know when a team comes together for something like this we kind of all rally around right. and that's the reason the Sweeney Cash Car exists and right. today um, you know our some of our friends from One Hot Cookie they actually donated their their winnings back to a nonprofit so today we want to invite everybody at home to do the same thing for an organization or something that is meaningful to you we'll put you in the cash car we'll give it to them let's go for a ride right now Welcome to another episode of Cash Car. This is very exciting. Thanks for having us. Before you introduce yourself. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta make sure I don't hit anything. Yeah, Lauren's right? gonna talk about the vehicle, the outstanding vehicle from Sweeney that we are in. You guys, this is the brand new 2019 Chevy Blazer. It is styled just like the Camaro. So if you're looking at all this and thinking this is awesome, there's a reason why. Not and cool enough for a Camaro. Right? No, we're oh. cool enough for this. I yeah, like absolutely. This. And you know, you can see through the extra windows. I don't know what those things are called, but they're great. Oh, these yeah. Right here? The little sneaky oh, windows. Nice. Very, very good. And how about this? That's uh, a panoramic that's I feel like we're on double beach. sunroom. Yeah. Wow. The summer good. is finally here, everybody. All right, tell folks who you are. I'm Morgan. Yes. And I'm Bergen. From? One Hot Cookie. And? Hey. Oh, donut Company. Congratulations on the new venture, you guys. Yes. Yes. Are you excited to be in the cash car? We are. Is it roomy in the back? It, it is. is nice. Did yeah. you bring us cookies? We did bring us cookies. Want to hold cookies. them up? <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh. Traditional cookies, chocolate chip and M&M. Delightful. I'm not going to eat any because I don't want to get any on this nice like steering it. wheel it's that's like on. embossed in leather. If every question you guess right, you get $50 and I get a cookie. All right? All right. And then at the end, well, you might, have, I might, five cookies. I might eat five cookies. Yeah. And you have it up to $250. Who are we playing for today? The Attitude House. Right, they are choice. donating their winnings today. Not everybody needs to, though. It's $250 cash. You can do whatever the heck you want with it. That's or $1,000 to buy a new Sweeney vehicle. So, Michael, right. you are the question master. Well, let's ask them which category they would like. Okay. I have five questions left in pop culture. And I have five questions left in animals. Pop culture. Can we split the difference? No, we cannot. You have to decide <laughs> what it is. <laughs> so find a way to bend that the host is a jerk. Half chocolate chip cookie and a half and pop a half culture. Pop is. culture? Yeah. Pop culture. All right, Let's are you it. ready? Yes. All right, here we go. This animated film about Pandora is still, as of today, the highest grossing film of all time, almost $3 billion. What is it? I, I, I agree with her. I was thinking the blue people. So that's, that's, that's it. That's they are the blue people. Ding, 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 ding. Woohoo! Alright, that's one. 50 bucks in your pocket. Oh, excellent. Okay. Even though it hit the airwaves in 1983, this army comedy still holds the record for the largest audience in a show finale. What is it? No, I know what it is. I know what it is. What is it? It's a television show, not. It is? Okay, so it's MASH. Yeah. <gasps> you got it. Yes. Well done, Morgan! I thought we were gonna have to call Martin. Nope, I'm No, old. we're not calling people. Although this is probably set up for Bluetooth. It probably is. Yeah. Right. Sure just there it is. Yes, yeah, so true. All right, are you ready for this one? This is a little more difficult. Oh man, that match was kind of hard. Fifty dollars. All right. Don't go to sleep on this Disney princess. She's the only one to have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Don't go to sleep on her. Don't go to sleep on her. No, it's Sleeping Beauty. Is she a princess? No, that's a horse. Sleeping Beauty. is Black Beauty's a horse. Oh, Black Beauty is the horse. Sleeping Beauty's a princess. She is. And there are other princesses there. There certainly are. Oh. Um, I feel like we're getting stopped. Oh. I thought it was Beauty and the Beast because you know the Beast, she walked in the room and he's. No. 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 All right. Is she it's sleep, up to you. Sleeping Beauty. I think we just need to go with it. I don't think she's the princess. I don't think that's it. All right. Well, are you going to agree on this or just <laughs> let her do it? Pick another one. No fighting in the back, kids. <laughs> don't make her turn this car around. Don't make me turn this car around. Okay. You pick. Okay. I well, could. It's got a backup Cinderella. camera. Cinderella. All right, you still have Please. how much? Two out of three, right? hundred bucks. Yep. So here we go. They didn't have a king, queen, or rook, but this top-selling board game of all time goes back to India in the 6th century. Oh, I have. It's Catan, but I don't know what it is. What? My friends play it. Then your friends are nerds. Well, uh, <laughs> so 
so are mine. I want my kids to hang out with nerds. Um, but I think you're overthinking it a little bit. Okay, say it's rooks. They didn't have a king, queen, or rook, but this top selling board game of all time. All goes time. Back to India. That's where it started in the sixth century. Scrabble. Chess. Chess. Checkers. 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 Which one? Checkers. It's chess. I don't know. Wait, Morgan. Yes, yeah, I don't know. Wait a minute. I think you threw them off a little bit. I did. I think you threw them off. You said no. I don't know. I thought it was just, you said it was no king, king, queen, or whatever. At the time, they did. Oh, at the time. All right, last question for 50 bucks. All right. Oh, man, that was awesome. Do better. I'm sorry. All right, listen to the clip. I feel like I should give it back. This go-getter is the most popular breed of car. I'm sorry, let's start over. <laughs> this go-getter is the most popular breed of dog in the United States. Oh, we know that golden one. Retriever. No, it's the Labrador Retriever. No, I'm pretty sure Golden Retrievers are better. So we're fighting over this because I, I have a Lab and she has a Golden Retriever. All right. And I think anything with the word... If I'm just going to stop retriever, talking. We could just stop there if you want to. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go with the Retriever. It is a Retriever, and do you want to double down and... Pick which kind? Yeah, well, I'm gonna double yeah, down. Yeah, double down for the one that I screwed up with checkers. All right, well, double down. You can go and fix the 50 extra bucks if you get it. I think it's a golden. I think it's a lab. All right, you better thumb wrestle or rock, paper, scissors because no, we're running out of time. We're gonna go with the lab. Labrador for sure. Congratulations! Congratulations. Congratulations. And they are donating to Beatitude House on behalf of the Sweeney Cash Car, and we are so glad to have you on Bali Spotlight. Tell everybody what just happened, you guys. How much did you win? 200 won. bucks. You won 200 bucks. 200 bucks. 200 bucks for Beatitude House. All on right, behalf we're... of One Hot Cookie, O Donut Company, Bliss Marketing, and Sweeney Chevrolet. All right. Woo! I want you to take her to line now. We got to drive back to the dealership, which on, is located at on, on Market, Market Street in Boardman. All right, so if you'd like to be a cash car um, personality, or if you'd like to be a contestant, you can, but we'd really appreciate it now if we did it for a charity, or if the charities want to come in and do right. it, we can promote your charity on TV. Right, we'll call you and it'll be fun. The, the questions might get a little harder. Maybe. <laughs> Just <laughs> kidding, those are questions. I know, they're hard enough for me to figure out. All right, thanks again to Sweeney for letting us come and hang out in their new building that isn't quite open yet, but it sure looks spectacular. And they have a wonderful team that's made it possible, especially after they went through so much turmoil with that microburst a few years ago. So thank mm -hmm. you to them. I'm glad to be on the team. Glad to have you a part of it, too. I am glad to be here. Um, give them a chance to watch our show on our different platforms. Go ahead. Just look up valleyspotlight.com. Well, that was easy. Even I could have done yeah, that. Yeah, it's pretty simple. We're everywhere. Yeah, and this show will be um, online by tomorrow. Sounds Isn't that kind of how it works? Yes, it is. All right, uh, March meant... Um, Shamrock Shakes, but when I was little, it meant Uncle O'Grimacy comes to visit the McDonald's gang. So that's our retro commercial this week. <laughs> Have a good weekend. Ronald, everything looks green. Oh, green butterfly. Uh, I'm green footprint. Uncle O'Grimacy. Hello, boys. I'm back, and I'm painting everything green to match the Shamrock Shakes. Shamrock Shakes are back. Yum, and celebrate at McDonald's. Shamrock Shakes, they're a beautiful green. They're a beautiful green that we love to see. Shamrock Shakes, they're a beautiful green. Uncle of privacy. If you like this video, subscribe to Valley Spotlight on YouTube, and be sure to click on the notifications bell so you know when we've got some new stuff. You also can like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and subscribe to us on Vimeo or our Roku channel.